How's it going, YouTube fam? Today I'm going to talk about budgeting. So let's get into the ins and outs of budgeting, why you want to do it, why it's important to do it, how to get started, and some tools to help you guys get there. So I know this is a lot to show here, but I want to start off by showing you guys where we want to get to. I have an example written up here. And so the goal is to get to this point where we can monitor everything, we can start to save, we understand where our money is going. Now before we can get there, we need to be able to fill this out here. So I hope everyone can read this. I'm going to go ahead and read it off. We've got um, housing, PG&E, water, internet, garbage, cell phone, food, car payment, gas, car maintenance, clothing, medical, vitamins, essentially pills, um, medical insurance, car insurance, life insurance, other types of insurances. <clears throat> And then personal, entertainment, subscriptions, and any minimum payment on your credit cards or other debt. So if you're watching this video today, um, hopefully you guys don't need to go and dive deep into this. But if you do, that's all right, because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys this other sheet. So I made this sheet here because these are some of the things that you're actually going to need help tracking. Um, and I've got it broken down by week. And so, you know, I wrote in an example. So let's say that on the foods category, you've got a Costco trips, $45, and you wanted to go to McDonald's that day and whatnot. So you're just going to write down how much money you're spending in each one of these categories. Now I'll share the link to this particular uh, sheet so that you guys can go and print it out. Uh, maybe put it on your refrigerator or something might help out. But the goal here is to really understand what your monthly expenses are. Um, now, why do we want to know that? We want to know that because that's how you get started with making a budget. Right? We want to know where our money is going. Uh, we're not going to be able to save until we know where the money is going. And so you might find that maybe you, you go to McDonald's a little too often or you get that Starbucks coffee that might not be necessary. Maybe um, there's some money that can be saved there. There's there's tons of places, right? I mean, I want to point out cell phone bill. Like how, how many individuals are really paying $40? Uh, I am. I actually pay less than that. But but how how do you get to, the, to identify these little... Um, hacks i would say right the pg e bill like yeah, a lot of times people don't take a look at this but what are what's the wattage on your light bulbs you know like the other day i actually helped my parents um change out their their lights and i actually found that some of their lights uh were 75 watts i mean that's like really old school um, and I replaced them with all uh, new LED lights, which were 8.5 watts. Uh, and they're going to say they're actually saving a lot of money already just because they're using less electricity. Um, so some of these um, utility bills that you may think are not changeable, they actually are. Uh, we just have to look into them a little bit. But again, you don't know um, until you until you look. So you have to start looking, you have to start tracking um, food is a big one because it can vary, but there's also a lot of little habits that you may pick up if you start monitoring it. I highly, highly recommend that everyone follow that expenses sheet and start understanding where you are. Um, now, I'm going to like just kind of go through and explain what you're seeing here a little bit and... and that way you get an understanding of the bigger picture. So I did my best to color code everything. So what happens here is um, for like utilities, for example, everything that you see in this light purple is rolled up into utilities and that's how you get this sum. Now this this is all done for you. The sheet does it automatically. Uh, this is This would be the next step, but I just want you to understand and then later on you'll be able to see where your money's going. Um, if you have any savings, how much savings you have. In this particular example here, I'm using an individual of $45,000. I live in California. This is pretty average. Um, and so this is how much you would be taking home. And so yeah, this is where I'd like to start with budgeting. Um, 
Why? Because here we are able to identify what's the minimum payment all on the debt that you may have, you know, um, and then I can help you in understanding what to pay down first. Uh, you understand your monthly expenses. Um, it's it's just a great tool to get you started. Once you see things, then you may understand what's where your money is going, right? It's, Things like entertainment or subscriptions, there's a lot of money hidden in subscriptions. You know, sometimes you sign up for something and you don't even remember that you signed up for it, but it's getting deducted automatically and that's why you don't notice it. So keeping an eye on your expenses is a big deal. Uh, again, I'm going to go back to this one. I, I wanted to talk about it here because... You know, you've got an example uh, in case you don't understand what I'm trying to do here. Let's say that you go in and week one, um, you make a grocery run and you're going to, let's say Safeway again. And I, you don't need to itemize, just go in there and write the amount. Oh, I spent, you know, $20 at Safeway. And this this is a good tool. So you can see week by week, what are the what are the stores that you tend to go to the most? Now, um, you don't have to use it on the computer. Let's say maybe you don't have a computer, you're not computer savvy, you're watching this video on your phone. Um, don't worry about that. I'm gonna put the link to this particular sheet right here in the description and all you need to do is go over to File, say Print, and that's it. It's gonna print that sheet. I've already formatted to fit the screen as best as I can. Um, and, and yeah, you should be good to go. So this is just the beginning. Um, again, I, I want to help everyone. So I hope that this goes well. Please leave some comments. Let me know if this was uh, too much. Right now, the main thing is to get your expenses down. And then we'll talk about how to build this budget. There's many steps to come. This is just step one, understanding where your money's going. All right, well, I hope everyone has a great day and stay tuned for my next video.